Hello viewers of Sounding Board and today we're going to look at a new G.I. Joe classified, actually an old figure from the Snake Eyes movie line of the classified series, Aiko. She is number 18 in the series. Basically she's a self shelf sitter. I, I picked her up on clearance and I decided what the heck we can show her as a uh, care, as a as a figure for since we did Outback will we'll show uh, another G.I. Joe figure. And so here is Aiko. Let's open her up and see how well she's made. And hope her hip joints don't stick like the old Lady J when we did a while ago. Not sure who Aiko is in the G.I. Joe line other than I guess he's part of Snake Eyes clan. But the movie follows a different continuity than the G.I. Joe comic book of Real American Hero or any other thing. It stands alone. It doesn't even follow the original movie line. Gotta pop all her joints just like I did without back or break them. Ah, there it goes. Comes with a staff. I'm not sure what kind of swords these are, but they're not Leonardo kind. They're not katanas in the in the in the normal sense. Does he have something she can put him in? No. So basically everything she has either stays in the box or a gear box if you're not going to use it. And I don't know why they make the weapons out of these harder plastics or their hands out of a little harder plastic too. The same hard plastic as well almost. Which makes them really really hard to put the weapons in their hands. Oh, I know what this is. This is that bow staff broken in half. Why didn't they just make the bow staff uh, a, a, a little toy that could be broke on its own? And she's got high heels, which makes her hard to stand up. But here's what she looks like from the front, the side, the back. She even has the hole in the back so you can put other gear on her if you wanted. The side and the front again. And she comes in, she looks, she's in a classic ninja gear, so. And she can't stand because of her shoes. Even though they had a bridge, so she could stand in them. 
doesn't work at all very well. Our weight does not there it goes support correctly. And that's her, and here's what she looks like compared to with, with other Joe figures. So she's smaller than a male, which is nice. But does she really lend herself to any play other than diorama play? Because unless you watch the movie, she's a character that's really not really uh, known, unless this is Jinx before she loses her sight. Yeah, this is an incarn like I said, an incarnation of Jinx. So I don't remember what her, Jinx's real name is in the thing, and this is one of the problems with this new line. They don't give you the file, so you don't know who they are. There's what she looks like standing with other figures. But yeah, I'm not too impressed with this one. Again, maybe it's because it's a girl toy, a female. Not a girl toy because it doesn't have rooted hair, but a female action figure. And she's kind of from a movie that I never finished watching because I thought it was horrible. And so she has really no eclectic memory whatsoever, unlike something like Baroness or Scarlet or Snake Eyes or Storm Shadow. You know where, you know those guys, but this one you just don't know, and she was just put out there. Like I said, unless this is Jinx, that's the only way I think, I think it could be, or... The only other option is they decided to focus more on the replace snake eye, female snake eyes and maybe she becomes the female snake eyes in the comic book. I'm not sure. But until next time, this is the sounding board signing off.